Okay, so till now we have seen how conflicts can happen in a normal LR0 parser. Okay, now this conflicts uh, can be uh, of shift reduced type where where uh, for a given entry in the parse table we may have a shift action we can perform a shift action or we may go for a reduction another kind of conflict is called as reduce reduce conflict okay where uh, for a give uh, for a given state and a given grammar symbol i may go for more than one kind of reduction okay because because a given state may have more than one like a is equal to beta dot and and maybe a is equal to uh, or another symbol like a, uh, a is equal to c dot okay then uh, and both these two items are in a given are in the same state and hence we may go for any of the reduction okay okay so so this is called as reduce reduce conflict so today we will we will discuss about other techniques of lr parser where we have put some extra intelligence okay before that uh, let me ask you a simple question what are the reason uh, for a for conflicts in a lr parser LR0 parser. We will start with LR0 parser. We have discussed about uh, the LR0 parser. So, what are the possible reasons for conflicts? First reason will be an ambiguous grammar. Okay. It is so if a grammar is ambiguous, that means it can have more than one derivations. Okay. And hence, uh, the possible reductions can be more than one. For a given uh, for a given state, okay, from a given state uh, in a given while creating this parse table, LR parse table, I may have uh, I may encounter more than one reduce action, okay, for a uh, with uh, two different productions for a uh, given grammar symbol, okay. One is the ambiguous grammar. Second is even if the grammar is not ambiguous, uh, we may uh, reach a shift or shift reduce or reduce reduce conflict the reason being the reason being in while creating this lr0 parser we are not taking into account any of the information of the input string okay that means what input terminals uh, terminals we are allowing suppose we have a given uh, for a uh, suppose we have a given state suppose in state one i have a is equal to beta dot then i blindly am putting the reduce by the rule number suppose this is rule number three so reduce by three in for every grammar symbols for every terminals i'll say okay so this is this is this this is the this is the main limitation okay so oh, if i am getting an input string uh, without thinking anything i'm just putting reduce action if uh, the given state has this kind of item okay so we'll see how to so this unnecessarily is for creating extra entries in the lr0 parser table which we'll see that it is not required okay so to remove this extra overhead we uh, there are other techniques of lr parsers okay one such technique is called simple lr parser or it is called as slr parser okay what does this slr parser do so whenever in a given state it has a arrow b dot as a item okay then it tries to go for a reduction only when suppose this grammar symbol is a b c so so let me write it down so i can say that 
in SLR parser for a given state and terminal symbol A we go for a reduction reduce action with the production so let my production be a is equal to beta okay if if this terminal symbol a belongs to the follow set of a understood so so while discussing about predictive parsing we have seen what is the meaning of a follow set so follow set for a grammar non terminal symbol a okay it is something like this so let me write it down in just a second <clears throat> so i can say that symbol a is in follow of a if if we do a leftmost derivation from the starting non terminal s and the the sequence that means the sentence the sentential form that means if i do a leftmost derivation like this we can have a sentential form that is the rhs of this uh, as a part of derivation it is something like alpha a a beta so if we encounter such patterns of grammar symbols while deriving from the starting non terminal s then we say that a is in follow of a okay small a is in follow of capital a so and i have also discussed how to compute the follow of a so i will not discuss it further but what i am saying is instead of blindly putting the reduce action for every terminal symbol okay we check whether the given terminal symbol is in follow of a okay if it is in follow of a that means what uh, i am inferring i am inferring that that reduction will take me one place closer to the starting non terminal since since in the derivation i may uh, in uh, I, in the derivation i have this pattern okay so if i reduce it by a is equal to beta then it will uh, Uh, take me one step closer to the starting non terminal symbol and hence it is a valid parsing okay so i will i will not put everywhere this r3 i will only put r3 in for the for the entry a for the column a because a is in follow of a okay i think it is clear so let us now try to so this is the main difference between a slr parser and lr0 parser there is no other difference we create we use the same concept of item sets and we we create this dfa from the set of items and we populate the uh, we populate the parse table lr0 parse table by uh, by following the other rules in the similar fashion that means we have to set the sip taxon accept taxon go to actions all remains the same the only difference is the reduce action takes place only when for the grammar symbol grammar non terminal grammar terminal symbol is in follow of that particular non terminal okay so now let us see what can be so let me give you a small example here so here you can see this is my initial state or i can say this is my set of rules for the given grammar okay and let me change the font let me change the 
so here you can see this is my starting state now from starting state I have <coughs> created this DFA okay by checking what are my grammar symbols okay you can check it also now from there I try to create this uh, populate this uh, parse table okay so an SLR parse table looks similar to a LR0 parse table the only difference is suppose here suppose in state number three here I am not populating okay are reduced by L arrow ID in all possible grammar symbols I am only I am only populating under the column of equal to because this equal to is in follow of L okay follow set of L okay <coughs> so let me write it down so here at state 3 only equal to and dollar are in follow of belongs to follow of L and hence hence those entries are populated so I can say parcel table let me pt of 3 comma 3 colon is equal to r of l colon id understood so this is a two dimensional parse table so i have seen that so for 3 and equal to i put it uh, l is we follow the reduce action for with the production l as id similarly pt of 3 with dollar that means end of string is r L ID okay but others other things are not acceptable so if you hit if you get a ID or if you get a star then it is not uh, then it is uh, zero basically the parcel will reject the input string okay now what can be the limitations now this itself is a limitation because we are blindly so for example here you can see s6 we can either uh, at state number 2 when I am in state number 2 I can either go for a subtraction okay by consuming the grammar terminal symbol equal to or I may go for a reduce action by using the production r is equal to r arrow l so this itself has a subt reduce conflict okay here okay now the reason for conflicts in SLR parser is because we are using this follow set we are not taking into account it may have it may happen so suppose a B are in follow of L okay suppose then it may happen that a will follow L in some derivations okay but not all not in not in every derivation a will follow L because it is a it may follow another grammar symbol and hence we should take into account for a given particular derivation what is my follow element okay follow terminal and based on that we should make some decision and the advanced version so so the the technique which we use is called as lr1 parser okay so lr1 parser i will discuss is a more improved version of this slr parser and it it, it uh, does not just blindly use the follow set to decide by which rule to reduce. Okay, thanks.